gave his life yesterday uh, defending our city in the midst of a robbery. Um, John was a 24-year veteran of the force. Uh, he has a family who are grieving, and the entire city of Racine mourns with him. Uh, I've ordered the flags to be flown at half-staff uh, today and until his burial. But uh, I just really uh, can't express how deeply we feel the loss of this officer. It's been more than four decades since we've had a loss in the city uh, and just can't say enough to the courage and integrity that he showed throughout his 24 years. He's very active with his union, always fighting not only to protect the city but to fight for his colleagues to make sure that they had fair and safe working conditions. Uh, this is a real loss for the city. But the other thing that I want to say is, is the city of Racine and the city Racine Police Department is in mourning today. And today those officers need your support more than ever. Uh, they're going through a, a tragic time. They have lost a brother who's been a mentor and a friend to them who has helped them protect the city for years. Uh, and if there's one thing I would encourage the public to consider is not only John and his family, but for the sworn officers that protect our city every day who, who have lost a member of their family. Uh, and the entire city, along with City Hall, and the council, grieves for that loss and wants to reiterate our support for law enforcement who go out there every day to keep us safe. And today, they're doing so uh, under some real stress of having lost somebody that they work with, a friend, a colleague, someone they've worked with for almost a quarter century that is now gone. And so, we grieve his loss, but we offer our love and support for those officers that are still out there today doing their jobs to keep us safe. With that, I want to hand it over to Sheriff Beth uh, from Kenosha, who has been uh, leading the investigation, who will say what he can about where it stands at this moment. Sheriff. Sure. Not too long ago at a uh, new officer's graduation, I. Uh, I let the students, the graduates, the new officers, I let them know that they were going to be the closest thing to a superhero that the most of the public will ever see. And last night in Racine, we lost one of our superheroes. He wasn't even, uh, he wasn't even officially working at the time, and he was doing what he was trained to do for the last 24 years, and that's to protect the public and stop criminals. Last night about 9.45 in the evening, uh, there was a masked uh, robber that entered the a teaser's bar on Lathrop at 20th, and he uh, went behind the bar and demanded money and uh, wielded a gun. Uh, Officer Hetland, from the videos that they've seen, tried to figure out the best way to get his hands on the suspect, and he ended up jumping over the bar to uh, do his best to take the suspect out and protect the public. Uh, during the course of, of his attempting to get control of the suspect, there was a little distance gained, and the suspect took the gun and, and shot uh, Officer Hetland, uh, I believe, one time. And it was one time was enough. Uh, the suspect fled from the scene. We have some video, and we're obtaining more video from other businesses in the area. Uh, we we had a lot of help last night. Uh, basically the reason Kenosha County was called in, of course there was an officer involved that got shot from Racine Police Department. Uh, the Racine Sheriff's Department was called in and Racine asked for us because so many people knew Officer Hetland so extremely intimately and they said we need an outside agency to take this. So that's why I'm here today and our agency took the lead. Last night there was help obviously from the Racine Police Department, the Racine Sheriff's Department, the Mount Pleasant Police Department, the Wisconsin State Patrol, the Kenosha Police Department, um, DCI, De Department of Criminal Investigation. The crime lab was sent down here with investigators to scour the entire scene. Uh, Walworth County Sheriff's Department, their tactical team is still on standby uh, in case we were to come in contact with, uh, with the suspect and, and there be a situation. Many agencies, Hundreds and hundreds of hours have been involved in uh, trying to catch this person, and I have no doubt that we are. I was informed just before I got here that uh, a loyal 
uh, business here in Kenosha, and I don't know the name of it, has offered a $5,000 reward, and the FBI has off also offered a $20,000 reward for the capture of the suspect that took Officer Hetland from us. Um, Probably a lot of questions you're going to ask me, I don't have answers for. A lot of the information uh, that I can share, I already did. Uh, there's still many officers up on the scene. It's still, uh, it's still roped off right around the establishment itself. And uh, it's gonna stay that way until after uh, I, I get the autopsy's done up in Milwaukee. Um, I was able to go inside of Teaser's Lounge, Teaser's Bar, whatever it's called, and the, the professionalism and the somber uh, attitude of everyone in there, uh, it wasn't a happy place to be. It wasn't a good place to be. But the work that they were doing was incredible. And uh, I'm very proud of all the staff that worked there last night. A lot of the staff we tried to send home because they haven't slept in a day and a half, as you can probably look at the mayor's eyes and see how tired he is from not sleeping really all last night either. And it's not something we ever look forward to in law enforcement, but we'll catch this person. And whether someone gives us a tip, and we're asking anyone who gives us a tip or anyone to call that has any information, we're the lead agency, but you can call any agency down here, whether it be Racine Sheriff, Racine Police, Kenosha Sheriff's Department, and we will track it down. We have teams of people going out and investigating every single lead that we, we get right now. And um, some of them aren't panning out to be real fruitful, but that's okay. We're still going to go out there and we're still going to do whatever we can because that one tip that doesn't look like it's going to pan out, that could be the one that, that finds our suspect and we can put closure to this entire case.